Hello, my name is August, and today I'm here in Bracken Ridge Park in San Antonio, Texas, and we are going to see what kind of birds we can see out here, because there are a lot of different species of birds here on the San Antonio River, and I'm going to teach you how you can identify that some of them yourself. All right, guys, so the first bird we're going to be seeing right here, this is a great egret. It's one of three species of egrets we have here on the San Antonio River and in San Antonio in general. It's, you can tell it apart because it has that green face, as you can see there, with a long yellow bill, and it's got those long, wispy feathers on its back, if you can get a glimpse right there. Yeah, the biggest species of egret here on the San Antonio River. All right, guys, so this next bird right here is going to be the Egyptian goose. What's cool about these guys, they're actually not a species of goose. They're in the duck family. And this right here is a breeding pair, you can tell, because right there, it got a chick right there. Yeah, so this is one of the most aggressive species of birds. So if you see a breeding pair like this, it is best to keep your distance. You can identify it's them by that big red dot and on their around their eye and the hot pink beak and feet that they commonly have. All right, guys, so this next species of duck is the Muscovy duck. You can tell it's a Muscovy duck by those big red lumps on its face right there. This is one of the most common ducks here in the area. And some would say not the prettiest duck, but I like them a lot. All right, so this next species right here, this is a black-bellied whistling duck. You can tell because they make this nice little chirping noise. There's a couple more back there behind them, as you can see. And this is by far the most common duck on the San Antonio River. So if you ever are on the San Antonio River, you will likely see quite a few of these guys. They're one of my favorites, definitely. Another species of duck we have here is the mallard duck. This is a duck that I'm sure most people are familiar with. It's a very common species of duck. It is found throughout most of North America and it's kind of just the staple when you think of a duck, you think of a mallard duck. So these guys right here, what's interesting about them is they are domestic mallard ducks probably descendants of human-made raised mallard ducks that have gotten a nice white plumage. And some of them you'll see, I'll see another one over right over here that I'll show you in a second, is a mix between a Muscovy duck and a domestic mallard. All right, so this duck is likely a result of a lot of interspecies breeding. This is a, dom a Muscovy duck X domestic mallard duck, that one that's black and white right there. Yeah, his descendants were probably both <laughs> Muscovy ducks and domestic mallards. Okay, so this next bird we've got here is kind of an uncommon one. This is the only member of the coot species we'll be seeing today. This is the American coot, the most common species of coot in North America. They're really cool. I don't usually see a lot of them out here all too often, so it's cool that I'm getting this one on video. All right, guys, so that bird you see up there, that is a black vulture, one of two species of vultures that is in the Texas area, the other one being the turkey vulture. This is the only one that you're going to see on the San Antonio River, but if you do come down to the San Antonio River, you will be seeing a lot of them. They are very common in this area. They're scavengers, of course, and they feed on dead animals and roadkill along with small mammals in the area. All right, moving along, guys, right up there on that pole is a rock pigeon or feral pigeon. This is a very common city bird, so this is going to be in about any city that you visit in the United States or basically anywhere. Extremely common bird. Some consider them a pest, but they just kind of hang around. Not my favorite bird, but they're pretty cool. All right, guys, right there, that is an a great-tailed grackle, the only species of grackle we have here in San Antonio. Where did he go? Is that in here? Yeah, so this is a great-tailed grackle. This is a male grackle. You can tell by those big, long tail feathers. This species is the first species of bird that we've seen that shows uh, sexual dimorphism. That basically means where the male and the female of the species look completely different. These guys get that big tail and those almost iridescent blue feathers on them, while the females are much smaller with the brown muted colors. Pretty interesting. And I know it looks like they might be a member of the corvid family with ravens and crows, but they are actually a member of the blackbird family, which is pretty interesting. All right, guys, so right here in this tree, 
That is a Eastern Phoebe. I've never seen an Eastern Phoebe in this area, but it's, you can tell it's an Eastern Phoebe because it's got that nice gray color and it's, if you can hear it right now, I don't know if you can, but if you can hear it, it's making a sound that sounds very similar to Phoebe, Phoebe, which is where it gets its name. Very pretty bird, very uncommon for this area. So that's super cool for today. All right guys, so next up here, this is a bird that you don't see very often because they don't really travel in flocks. This is the yellow crowned night heron. And a very nocturnal bird, so it's rare to see one out this early in the day. So I think that's really cool that we're seeing this guy right here. You can tell it's him by that big orange feathers on his head. There are a lot of species of heron in this area, but none that look quite like that. Pretty cool bird. All right guys, so this next bird we've got right here. That is a northern cardinal, very skittish songbird with that big bright red plumage. Females are going to be mostly brown, but as you can tell from this guy, he is bright, bright red, meaning he's a male. I don't want to get too close, that's why we're really far away, because this is a very skittish bird, so when you're coming up near them, don't expect to get too close, because they will fly away. All right, it's starting to drizzle a little bit out here, so I think that's going to wrap up the video. Uh, overall today, I think today was really successful. We saw some birds that I don't typically ever really see out here, but unfortunately there were a couple pretty common species that are pretty important to talk about that we did not end up seeing, which is a little bit unfortunate, but there, I know this many kinds of birds can be a little bit daunting sometimes, like how does he remember all those? Well, I've been coming here almost the last 16 years, so I've gotten pretty familiar with the taxa of the area. But, for beginners, I can, in fact, recommend this book, Birds of Texas Field Guide, to you. It is an extremely helpful piece of information, uh, text, that can give you vital information when looking at a bird and trying to identify it. Or, if you're not really a person who likes to carry around a book, there is an app on your phone called iNaturalist. This app can be very helpful in identifying birds. It has an algorithm that will tell you what kind of bird something is. All you have to do is just take a picture of it and upload it, and it can be used for research purposes at a later time. Follow me at August Does Animals on iNaturalist or subscribe on YouTube. Thank you so much.